So Shot Designer has a built-in set designer for making floor plans. But if you already have a floor plan as a JPEG, you can just bring that in as a background. And that's very simple. So you just select background image right here, then you say import, and then we just pick it out of our camera roll right there. And then it's brought in. Up here, you then have some uh, rotate and zoom in and out tools. And these are intentionally very limited so that it's easier for you to bring in updated drawings. And then down here in the layers menu, you can then make the background more transparent, which you normally want to do. Okay, so back to the set designer. Let's help these people get a room. So I'm going to click here and then add set. And that gives me some options. And the first one is the wall tool. Then you simply tap to create a wall. I'm being a little bit sloppy here. And then I'm going to OK that afterwards. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always dial it in afterwards. And if I've made a piece of wall that I need to continue on, let me make another wall right here. And let's say that I needed to add some more. Then I can just select the menu here at the end and say extend wall. And then we're just back into the wall tool. And then again, OK. Next is with any other path, you can press and hold anywhere to make new control points. And then you can make more sophisticated walls. But we also have some more advanced tools that you get by tapping the line. And we're especially interested in move segments and extrude. And I think move segments is probably pretty obvious. You just move the segment around. But what's maybe not so obvious is you can add more segments to the wall and then you can drag those as a group. Next, we have extrude. And in order to explain how that works, I'm going to add two control points up here. I'm going to add one here, and I'm going to add one here, and then we're going to select extrude. And that pulls out an extra piece of wall that I can then position anywhere. Now we want to add some doors and windows, but you don't actually have to draw those yourself. Instead, the rest of the objects in the Add Set menu are quote unquote negative objects, which mean that they cut a hole. So I'm going to add a door right there. And then when I let go, see it cut a hole in the wall. And that's actually very effective because if I move the wall around, then the door just sticks to it. We have some more settings for the door. And the first is a rotation handle so that I can turn the door inwards and outwards. I also have a mirror setting here. And then we have a function called scalable, which is uh, a scaling handle for making things smaller and bigger. Let's add then a window. So I'm going to pull that from, where is it? There it is. And I'm going to drop it right there and then drag it onto the wall. And then it sticks. And let me also add a generic opening, which is there. And I'm going to put it there and then drag it onto the wall. And they also stick to the wall just like that. That's really all there is to set designing. So let's switch to the lighting designer. Ari Golan from Atomic Imaging in Chicago sent us these symbols here. And they're pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to add a ellipsoidal. And let's also add a par light. So that's right there. So that's pretty self-explanatory. But we have one really cool feature here, which is a virtual speed rail. And I'm going to put it right there. And this is then a path now that you can snap things to. So I'm going to take these lights. This is where I want them to be. And then I'm going to snap each of them the same way that you would you know, uh, snap cameras to access lines. And then check this out. Because as I move the virtual speed rail, the lights maintain their relationship. But then I'm stretching it out and rotating it. So that's very handy. Mm -hmm.